His parents came to this country from England in 1796 because of their desire for civil and religious freedom. They settled along the banks of the Hudson River near Wappingers Creek and began their modest livelihood by farming, brewing ale, and brick making. In 1801, his father sold their farm and settled in the center of Poughkeepsie to brew ale. It was here, along the Hudson, where Matthew Vassar built his brewery in 1836. The brewery and other wise business investments enabled this complex man to amass his fortune and later become one of the valley's most famous residents. This year marks the 200th anniversary of the birth of this remarkable self-made man. His family's legacy can be found in many places, streets, buildings, and a hospital. But it is here, Vassar College, where Matthew Vassar did the most unexpected and controversial accomplishment of his feisty Poughkeepsie business and civic leader career. Today here on the river, we will take a look at Matthew Vassar, who at the age of 69, with no previous experience as an educator, endowed and founded this College for Women. Helping us along the way today will be Nancy McKechnie. She is the curator of rare books and manuscripts here at Vassar College and the Vassar College historian, Elizabeth Adams Daniels. That's right here today on the river.